Good morning. It is July 29th, and it is a joy to be with you today in our morning devotional time. I'm Kathleen McMurray, one of the pastors here. And today I will be sharing with you from a scripture from Colossians, uh, chapter 1, verses 9 through 14. So you're invited to follow along wherever you are. For this reason, Paul says, since the day that we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transformed us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins." Now, as Paul writes these words to the church, um, to, that, to that early church, Paul, we, th we think of these letters as, as Paul leading the churches. And, and while that is certainly true, Paul was not always with the churches in person. That's why he had to write letters. The churches, though, were connected in Christ. Though they were not all together with Paul, though they were not all together with one another, they were connected in Christ, even at a distance. Paul's prayer for the church in Colossus is, is the same prayer um, that, that we have for one another today. Even as we are not able to be physically together, even as we are connected not by distance but by Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, our prayer for one another is the same that Paul had for those early churches, that we may be strengthened with the power of God which is strength that is well beyond ours, that we may be prepared to endure, <laughs> endure everything, Paul says, with patience, with thanksgiving. There's a lot that we are having to endure right now, a lot that, that weighs on us and, and that makes us feel like we are running out of strength. But the good news of the scripture, the good news of faith is that we are given strength when it feels like we have none that we are given strength by God and that we are also strengthened by the connection that we have to one another, even when we cannot be together physically, that the power of the Holy Spirit unites us, rescuing us from the power of darkness, from the struggles that we experience, and bringing us together into the light of Christ. I hope today, friends, that you are strengthened by the strength and power of God and that you will be able to endure with patience and joy and thanksgiving.